Hi everyone, this is Nikash here. I am back with a different problem today. The problem name is count complete tree notes and this is one of the famous question asked in the Google on-site interviews. Okay, let's get started with this problem today. So the problem name is count complete tree notes. So given a complete binary tree, count the number of nodes. And the question sounds pretty simple. So you will be given an input a binary tree. You, you need to count the number of nodes. For example, in this, there are just six nodes. So we output six. Okay. But the key point here mentioned is it's a complete binary tree. Let's see what's the definition of the complete binary tree. In a complete binary tree, every level, every level except possibly the last is completely filled. And all the nodes in the last level are as far left as possible. Okay. So in this, if you see the level one has one, the level two has two power one, which is two nodes and level three, which is the last level. If it was a complete perfect binary tree, it would have had two power two. That is four number of nodes. But in this case, it is just a complete binary tree, not a perfect binary tree. So in the complete binary tree in the last level, it will have all the nodes filled from the left to the rightmost. Okay. So in this case, the left is four and then five and then six. So in this case, return as six. So uh, there are two ways to solve this. One is a brute force method where you know that given input is a complete binary tree. So you just uh, start counting all the nodes and return the count. Let's see how that solution is formed. So basically if uh, input is null, you return zero. If not, just return. We, we start counting the nodes towards the left add it to the count of nodes, number of nodes on the right. And then for that particular node on which we are, we just add one, right? So that's it. The basic recursive uh, solution is something like this. So let's submit and see if that works fine. Yes, it works fine. So in this case, right, you're going to every node and calling recursively the count for the left as well as the right. But if you see, you're not making any use of the clue given here, which is complete binary tree. So in complete binary tree, we know that height of all the nodes in a, in a particular level are equal and number of nodes in that particular level is two power height minus one. Okay. So we're going to use, make use of that clue and start write our code now. Let me reset. Okay. So in this case, the base condition would be still the same. If root is null. And zero okay let's take a couple of variables saying left height which is initially zero and then right height zero then we take two pointers one is left which is equal to root and then again one more calling right then we start traversing towards left side and see how many number of nodes do we have. Okay. So until left is not equal to null, I keep traversing. Left. Let's name this as P left, pointer left and pointer right. P left of left. We do we move towards left and increment the left height. Okay. We do the similar, we do similar thing for right side. And increment the right height. So here, if we know if the left height and right height is same, then we know the return value. The return is nothing but 2 power height minus 1. If not, if we don't have a perfect binary tree where the height won't be same, right? So in that case, we need to return whatever returned in the previous solution. Count nodes of left, root of left, plus count nodes are root of right plus one is our solution. Let's submit and see if that works fine. 
see it's one of the accepted solution and it's much more optimized when compared to the previous brute force solution where you go to the every node and key and call the count node for every node and so in this case we just check the height and if it is equal we just return our number of nodes instead of calling recursively so that's an optimized solution so this is again as i said before this is one of the important problem asked in the google interviews please uh, solve it yourself and let me know if you have any concerns regarding this solution and if you want to get notified whenever i post a video please do subscribe and share the video so that it's useful for more number of people until we meet next time keep learning every day thank you bye bye